And there they are. I'm excited. These guys look great. How much should you expect to pay for your feeder pig? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome everybody, it's Kathy. First off, let me begin by saying feeder pig prices can vary substantially by the area that you live in. For our area right now, we live in Ohio, I would expect to pay right around $50 for a good looking, well-grown, between 50 and 60 pound feeder pig. I have come across information um, on other websites talking about in more of the Southeast, like let's say the Carolinas, that a much more normal price for them is more like in the $30 range. And for around here, a $30 pig, honestly, I would be a little worried about it. <laughs> While it sounds like a deal, a deal is never a deal. Don't ever go for the deal. Low price feeder pigs are a mess. Um, don't do it. Buy high quality, you'll be glad you did. Anyway, for this time of year, around $50. And as I'm filming it, it's the first part of January right now. The thing that's going to happen with feeder pigs, and it happens every year, is actually very shortly, as I say in the spring, but it's gonna rev up soon, probably starting in February. The price of feeder pigs goes up substantially. And you ask yourself, what's up with February? Well, between February and June is when the people, the kids who are taking um, market hogs as a fair project, they're gonna need to have their pig because they're going to want to buy it when it's 50 or 60 pounds. So in like three and a half to four months when the fairs start, which would be starting up in June, they're going to buy their pig starting in February if they have a June fair. The fair pigs cause the prices at the auction to go up quite a bit. You're going to have much more competition for purchasing pigs. There's going to be tons of people there. It's actually kind of a shocker. If you go to a pig sale, the feeder pig sale, um, like we go to Kidron, if you go to the feeder pig sale in the fall, there's not a whole lot of people there and the prices are significantly lower. So if you have the option, get your pig, I would say, hmm, I'd say after June, or if you can, anywhere from probably June to early February are going to be, that's the lower price season for, for feeder pigs. From, I'll say mid-February up to the first part of June, feeder pig prices are significantly higher. For instance, for that same feeder pig that would sell for around $50 right now, I would at least expect to pay 75. Honestly, topping 100 would not be out of the question. And that's strictly a matter of Everybody and their brother wants a pig in the spring, and sometimes it's homesteaders, sometimes it's small farmers, even if you're just raising it for yourself for meat, you're still wanting a pig at the same time that everybody else does, and that raises your price. And I have, we did sell some, I sold five, I gotta make, double check on my receipt here, five feeder pigs on... December 17th and they weighed 62 pounds, which is a little bit heavier than I would have guessed. These guys were born um, either the first or, these guys were born the 2nd of October. They weighed 62 pounds, like I said, on December 17th and I got 52.50 for them, that was the bid. The take home price ends up more like $48, but that just gives you an idea. When someone sets their price, like if you find an ad on Craigslist or anything like that, if you're wondering what makes people set the price where they do, well, I can tell you at least what my costs are. And for me, for each feeder pig, to get them up to 60 pounds, I have just over $30 worth of feed alone in them, their mom, and the boar. Actually, my figures worked out to $30.77, which would be you know, at my feed costs, and that's one boar and two sows, so most people, you could have way more sales than that, but I just don't, which would lower your four costs. But anyway, and then I already talked a little bit about 
deals, deals are never, ever, ever deals. Please, please, please do not buy the deal pig. It is not a deal. So here's a little story about Squiffy. And I just called her that because I thought it was a funny little name. Anyway, Squiffy was small even before she reached feeder pig size. And like I said, she was born here. We didn't buy her. And a little bit hyper, a different build, kind of a, of a thinner, honestly, more of a weenie type pig. And we finally got her sold the first part of December because she finally made a decent weight. We did get her up to 290, but the fastest growing pigs in that litter sold two months before Squiffy. And not everybody made the first load out of here. So if you're wondering, is the deal pig a deal? If you get kind of a scruffy little slow grower, you know, for a little bit of a discount, should you do it, shouldn't you do it? You shouldn't do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> because not only did she take two months longer, she also took half again as much feed because I kept track of when we um, ground feed and, and did the calculations. The first few to make weight took around 800 to 850 pounds of feed to get to the 300 pound mark. Squiffy, however, took more like 1,200 pounds of feed. Yes, it was a shocking difference. And once again, two months longer. So please do not ever get the deal pig because she's not a deal. And this is Squiffy. She's the last of the group of market hogs. Got an awful lot of white on her. Way more than the rest of the groupies. And notice how her ears are a little crinkly. But by far the slowest grower in the group, so. She's heading out today. She does have a lovely color. She took half again as much feed and a full two months longer. She did end up getting there, but it took forever. So if you're thinking about the deal pig, think again, don't do it. As far as where you should buy your pigs, up here, like I said, we're in North Central Ohio. Kidron's about 45 minutes away and they have a great feeder pig sale. So if you are in this area, definitely attend. If you're wondering what the current prices are, just look up Kidron Auction and under their market reports and you, you can even go back. So you can get last week's market report, you can get a year ago, and you can see what, depending on when you plan on buying, what you should expect to be paying. And they have it broken down by um, weights, everything. Check it out so you know what you can expect. The good news about an auction is you get all kinds of options. Usually I see quite a few blue butts. There's some hamps. There were some lovely Durox last time I was there. Just a really nice selection. And you'll get all different sizes of groups too. So you can kind of pick out what it is that you want. Word to the wise. If the group goes through with 10 in it, when you're bidding, you're buying all 10. If you just want one or two, you need to have that arranged with the auction ahead of time and ask them how they want to handle it. At Kidron, you, the, at least the way they're currently handling that is you pay a flat fee and you pick out your pig. I'm pretty sure it's before noon. So if you picked two pigs out of a group of 10, well then yours are separated off and you take yours home. And then what was a group of 10 just sells as a group of eight but be sure to check with the auction before you start bidding so you know for sure what you're getting into. There are a few potential downsides of purchasing at an auction. It is a little bit more of a higher stress environment and the cold hard truth is what you're looking for might not show up that day. If you have a few days to go, then it's eventually what you want will show up, but if you're taking time off work or you really need what you specifically want to show up, that's gonna be a little bit harder. 
And once again, all this only counts if the auction is close to you. But anyway, if that's the case, I'd call the auction, see what they're expecting, see if anybody's called in and what they're bringing. And some auctions actually have someone there who can buy for you. So you could say what you want, what you're willing to pay, and they'll have someone there if you can't attend the sale. But either way, call them up, see what they've got. Then the advantage to buying your feeder pigs from an individual. Obvious, well, the first one is you can set up an appointment to go and see the pigs when it works for you. So it doesn't necessarily have to be at a time when you're supposed to be at work or something. <laughs> something equally not as good as that. The beauty of buying from an individual is it is a very low stress transition for the pigs. They're at their normal place. You can see how they're raised. So the good news is buying at a farm will be a much lower stress day for the pigs. Chances are you are going to pay a little bit more at the farm than you would pay if you're going to an auction. And the reason for that is, to be honest, it's time. An auction is so easy. I take the pigs there, the auction staff handles everything for me, I drop them off when it's convenient for me, and a check shows up in the mail a few days later. It is easy, it's guaranteed, and it works out every time. Whereas a private sale, to be blunt, takes a lot more of my time as a breeder. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's nice to meet the people and it's and it usually can get me a little bit better of a price. But the reason it's a little bit better of a price is because it takes more, more time and work on my part. So just so you're ready for that. If you're if the auction price says what's averaging is around $75 and you go to somebody's house and they want 100, that's okay. Take it or leave it, but that'd be the reason why they want a little bit more money is because of the time and care that they're putting into you to help you get going. Now, we're going to talk about what it is that you're looking for when you see these feeder pigs. First of all, you want they should be spunky. They should have a nice wide structure. They should have um, shiny hair and they should be interested in you. And since you're new, to be honest, when they see you, they'll probably pop up their heads, snort and kind of run away. Very, very normal, very pig. <laughs> but you wanna see some action in there. They should be interested in their feed. They should be kind of zooming around doing stuff. They should be interacting with their bedding. You know, just, just happy little pigs. The things you do not want to see. They should, you don't want to see any um, like odd movement. If they, they don't, if they don't move quite right on their legs. If there's any, um, if they look like they have a cold, like runny nose, um, junky eyes, any of that. If they look like, like they have long hair they're just unthrifty don't go there those pigs are not what you want i'll show you a picture of my pigs and they they look pretty good so you are looking for pigs in this condition If the pigs you see just kind of look like they're having a hard day, don't do it. The feeder pigs you buy should be looking pretty good. Then I also want to mention, this is just one of a series of quite a few videos on pigs. So I have all about feeding your adult stock. I have some cute little shorts for the pigs and I also have the rest of this series on specifically feeder pigs, like how much feed are they gonna take, all that kind of stuff. And then to back this up for anyone who'd like a little bit more data, I also have articles on my website, 
It's familyfarmlivestock.com. So if you want to know all about the specifics of buying in an auction, what breeds you should be looking for, how much feed is your feeder pig gonna take, it's all there, all there. Check it out, I have a ton of articles. So to recap, you're looking for a healthy pig. That's where it's at, healthy pig. A healthy, happy pig will grow fast and give you the most results for your money. I would get a little bit bigger pig. 50 to 60 pounds is super. I know some people are getting a little bit younger pigs, more in the 30 to 35 pound range. While there's nothing wrong with that, I would prefer something bigger because they've had a little bit more time to get used to taking care of themselves, a little bit more time to get past the stress of weaning, a little bit more time at their home farm so they will do better for you when you get them. So if you can, get pigs more in the 50 to 60 pound range. And of course, healthy, nice, meaty, energetic little fun pigs that will do super for you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments or send me an email at familyfarmlivestock at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and look for the rest of the Feeder Pig series.